what's up y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a full day of eating but i kind of suck because it's really just gonna be me it's going to be me telling you what i ate because i didn't like record any of it but i figured it would still be nice to just give you ideas for what you could eat so for breakfast i was really really strongly i'm gonna sit down i was really strongly considering going to a coffee shop because i have just been like out of school for a month waiting to hear back from jobs and whatnot and so I like, long story short, just wanted to get out of my apartment. <laughs> so I was gonna go to a coffee shop and while I was researching the menu, they had a lot of really good looking breakfast tacos. Uh, I live in Texas, it's a big deal here. So I decided to just end up making them at home and I just ended up staying home. <laughs> but so <clears throat> I just got out the comal, which is like a flat pan basically. And I just put it, sprayed it, um, with oil to put the tortillas on to cook and I just get the Warrero. I know I'm pronouncing it horrifically, but I get that brand. I'll spell it here um, And so I just put a little bit of oil on the pan on like medium heat and just keep flipping them back and forth until they look like they're cooked They have like some of the brown marks on them and then I also ate that with bacon and it was refried beans, avocado, and shredded mozzarella cheese. It was delicious. So I was basically recreating a taco that I get at Taco Deli. And that one has refried black beans and bacon and avocado and cheese. But then I had refried brown beans, like I think pinto beans. Um, super good. So I had the refried beans already canned. I know you can make them yourself, but I like do not make beans by myself it takes too long <laughs> and so i had the tortillas going i cooked the bacon into like little slices heated up the refried beans on that same pan as the bacon so it kind of absorbed that bacon fat even though it was already refried so i'm sure it's like triple fat content but so i had that and so then i had the tortillas laid out and put the refried beans the bacon pieces and I like cut it up into small pieces so that I can easily have some with every bite and then put the avocado on top and the shredded cheese and it was delicious and I ate it with strawberries and coffee. I took a picture so I'll insert it and then that was at about 11 and so then at like 2 I got hungry again. I usually eat every 3 or 4 hours, uh, it just depends on the day. So then for the snack I didn't take a picture but I just had a whole banana and a tablespoon of peanut butter it's probably like a tablespoon and a half but I basically just get out a whole banana open it put it on a plate and take a spoon into peanut butter and take out the spoon and put that on the plate put the peanut butter away so that I don't go crazy because I love peanut butter <laughs> but so yeah I just had that and you just like take a little bite of peanut butter take a bite of the banana basically and that's the easiest way I do it so I was at two o'clock and so then at about five I decided to make dinner it was originally going to be a pre-workout snack but then i decided i'm not going to work out today because i don't really have time uh i'll go tomorrow to work out <laughs> but so yeah i've been working out like five or six days a week during quarantine um so tomorrow will be my sixth day and so i just want to have this day to rest today but anyway i made some pasta so it was just like whole wheat rotini pasta i've been posting this on my instagram if you follow me there you'll be able to see the other recipes that i post so i just had the whole wheat pasta cooked in a pot salted water let it boil put the pasta in, cook for 10 minutes just follow on the box and then i have this rouse arabiata sauce it's super good and it's a little bit spicy so and then alongside that i had this cut up yellow and green zucchini slices cooking on the pan with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper and that just kind of adds that the vegetable for the meal and it adds a lot of flavor and texture to the pasta so this dish is delicious i've been making it a lot lately and i'm really proud of it i kind of just made it up myself <laughs> so then after the pasta is cooked you strain it, like put it in that little strainer thing in the sink. And I wash it off with hot water because it ends up getting cold immediately if you do cold water. <laughs> so I don't know if there's anything wrong with that, but yeah, so I did that. Put the cooked zucchini after it was cooked, I don't know, just once it starts to look like brownish, like it starts to get a little bit burnt on the edges, not burnt, but like cooked, like browned as you're flipping it back and forth. Added that and that's like piping hot to the pasta and then the sauce as well. And you can microwave the sauce or cook it on the pan or whatever you want before. Um, but it'll be hot when you pour it into the hot pasta, even if it's from the fridge, which is where mine is from. 
and just stir it up in there and then I served myself, boom, it was delicious. I have a picture here, the same thing that's posted on my Instagram with all those directions as well. And then for now, I'm actually getting ready to go to uh, my boyfriend's family's house. We're doing like a little thing, I'm not sure what's happening, but I'm gonna head over there. <laughs> and I brought, sorry, I'm like walking around my apartment to see if I turn stuff off. I brought just like a protein bar. Um, it's a power crunch bar. Let me just show you. I go through phases with protein bars, but these are really good. Um, they honestly taste like cookies. 220 calories, 13 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, 13 grams of protein, five grams of sugar, which isn't that bad because it tastes so good. And I like that triple chocolate flavor and peanut butter fudge or something, I think it is. Peanut butter cream, that one's really good as well. And I also sometimes, I have this in my purse too, like these RX bars. I go through phases again where like I can't eat protein bars for years. But since I'm in that phase where it's been years, I eat them again <laughs> here and there. So these RX bars are pretty good as well. All the ingredients are listed on the front. I do get tired of these a little bit more quickly, but for now, so then I just try not to eat them that often. 210 calories, nine grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, so higher carb here, and 12 grams of protein. So it is just like a little nice quick meal. So I brought that. It's 6.41 now and I ate dinner at five. So I'm assuming I'll be full for a little bit longer, but I'm bringing that protein bar just in case and my water, of course, because I literally cannot go anywhere without a snack or water. It's just like a weird thing. I have to have my water bottle <laughs> and my snack or, you know, it could be bad. I could get hungry and if I'm getting like hungry, I get hangry and that's not good for anyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, just me talking to you, <laughs> but I'll show you these recipes. And again, follow me on Instagram at Sydney Eats Fitness. I'll still leave it here if you're interested. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much if you're even here at the end of this video. I can't fathom that people really watch these videos, but it's really exciting to think that I could help somebody think of like new recipes or whatever, just a way to be healthier. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we, as in me or me and my boyfriend, will be back with some more content soon. Thank you. Bye. Hello, I'm back. It is like 9.45. We... We're at a graduation party of sorts, um, kind of like social distancing type of thing. But yeah, I brought my protein bar to eat, but then they actually ended up having food there. So I had like a little bit of barbecue um, brisket and chicken breast, and then a little bit of potato salad, a little bit of rice, and a couple pieces of bread. So. I mean like I'm not upset about it like I'm not like counting macros or calories or anything and it ended up being good I wasn't that hungry but it was still good to eat I would have ended up being hungry probably like about this time anyway so yeah that's gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye